hey what is going on everybody once again welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to be playing dead ahead zombie warfare and today i will show you guys the quickest and fastest way to get power points as you guys know with the latest update it has become more challenging for us to upgrade our unit but hopefully this will show you guys a way in which we can make this a bit easier for us now i will show you guys how to do this you guys can do this two different ways you guys can use red keys or you can use blue keys just keep that in mind but for my deck this is the deck that i'm using you guys do not have to use this deck what i found is that with this level range units work pretty well so that is what i'm using so feel free to use whatever you guys have as you guys can see they have have eight 15,000 power points and like i said on average if you guys do this correctly you guys will be able to get at least 4,000 power points within five minutes imagine if you do that for a very long time you guys will be able to get all the power points that you guys need but it will take a little bit if you guys do not have blue keys which is okay those repel over time so we don't have to go ahead and jump into well first of all we want to go to stage seven supply run and this is the um mission that we are going to be doing now as you guys saw i have five red keys those will come into play like i said you guys do not have to use red keys if you guys have blue keys it will take twice as long but i like to do things quick and have a lot of time so let's go ahead and jump into this mission now if you guys take a look at this the possible reward is 300 power points if we, if we use a red kit that will make it 600 but what i found is that we normally we get more than 300 so let's go ahead and jump right into it I'm doing a lot of talking. Let's go ahead and jump right into it and show you guys how I do this. So I just place my units and look. Well, at least with this deck, they are able to get rid of those zombies fairly quick. Now, those zombies are only level four, which is good. Only level four. I'm saying that like it's so level four is not hard, but only level four. And I'm able to get rid of them fairly quick. Like I said, if you guys do not have the units that I have, try. You guys cannot tell me that you guys do not have the policeman. The policeman is hands down one of the best units on this game. So please get the policeman's policeman if you guys do not have him. So now we're here. The crazy zombie is only level four. We're using Dr. Norman to slow him down. But like I said, you guys do not have to use him. If you guys have the policeman, the ranger or any other range unit, I think even the farmer should be able to do pretty well here. Uh, we should be able to finish this fairly quick. I don't think the supply run is not even that hard. Now, what do we get here? We can use either a red key or a blue key. What I'll do is, if you guys do not have red keys and you guys do not want to spend your money, just use a blue key. Like I said, it will just take twice as long. So if we use this, we get 661. So let's go ahead and do this again. So that's we even get 700. On average, like I said, if you guys do this within five minutes, you guys will be able to get a lot of power points. So we're going to do this again. We are going to do this until we use all of our red keys and it just goes so quick. I think so far, unless they make some crazy changes so far, this is the quickest way. Now, like I said, there's a little bit of a caveat. If you guys do not have red keys, you guys will have to wait for those to, I think those get repelled every three hours for those. But you guys can either use the monies to buy it or if you guys do not want to wait, just put your, um, uh, if you guys do want to wait, you can, if you don't want to waste your coins money so you guys can put wait until not put but just wait essentially once well wow, it's a lot of hours but essentially just wait until you have all of the uh blue keys and you can use those but like i said if you guys want to craft the red kit it will just make it a lot easier and more enjoyable but if you guys do not have the red kits you guys can always use the blue keys which is, is no big deal we just take ooh, just a tiny bit let's see let's see if we get 700 657 not bad either let's go ahead and try that one more time i said we're going to try this until we finish all of our red keys normally what i do is i wait until i have at least eight keys and then i craft five and then i craft um because you can you can only do five at a time and then i craft the remaining three keys that i have left so we got rid of those once again super super easy and then we're going to take norman but like i said don't not do not worry too much about uh my deck just try to find something that works for you guys the one arm soldier it's not that bad of a zombie to deal with and he's only level four we do have the medic zombie there but if you guys have a ranged unit we will get rid of those from the range pretty pretty cool pretty quick 
And then, of course, we have their OG Carlos, the best unit on the game. I am still working on a set for Carlos. I'm trying to find a set that will increase his range damage to make him more powerful. And then we're going to use this against 616. I haven't been so lucky this time around. Because uh, normally I have some times where I get 700 power points on one try. We got rid of those zombies once again. We have the demon zombies, which, like I said, with our units. And the cool thing about this mission is that I just noticed this. It's just a normal mission. It's not even hard. Like like the label in and of itself. Not me saying that it's not hard, but the label of the of the um. Uh, although sometimes that doesn't even translate very well, but the label for this uh, mission is only normal which is good for us because we can just grind and grind and upgrade units and make them super super powerful now something that did happen to me was after i got the update i felt like my units were not even that powerful but that was because i didn't have no items equipped with them so if you guys just got the update um, and you notice that your units are not doing so well just make sure that you look for an item set try to get the item find a supply run and try to make your main units wow 614 again try to make your main units strong first because that will make it easier for you to grind and then work on your other units once again we're going to be doing this and rinse and repeat they're not that crazy we'll get rid of them fairly quick there you go got rid of that one and then we have two more waves to go what do we have here we have those like i said those zombies are quite powerful but since it's only the level four and then we can just get rid of them from the range this shouldn't be too too hard the one arm soldier not not the strongest zombie on the game he he is quite um tank zombie but we were able to just get rid of him fairly quick we have the medics once again with the ranger we push them back and then they stand no chance against us we got rid of that one as well the animation with that zombie that is pretty crazy and then we're going to go for the barricade which is only level seven let's see if we go for 700 power point this time around what do you guys think i only have this is the last key that i have so let's see 612 um so not as much as i would like but that should be it for this one guys thank you so much for watching let me know if this works for you guys let's see how, how i have something 18,000. i'm i'm on to 21,000, which is goes 3k plus 21 422 which is not that bad i'm going to be using those to upgrade this guy here which i'm going to be dr miller which i'm going to be doing a video soon but just giving you guys a snake pick that's gonna be for this one guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one peace